if you had your top tips just to leave with the audience today, Fee and Rebecca, what would they be? You won't be surprised. I think it's start with your planning. The planning is so important and the board skills matrix is a really useful, valuable tool in that process. I would 100% agree with that. And it, I think my observation to Rebecca is that boards really need to invest in these things and that will really enable them to do them successfully because a board room full of high functioning directors is a major asset for oversight of risk and driving strategy. I like the second one, I think induction is key, absolutely. It really does disengage and disappoint directors if it's done badly. And I think they're, again, using that skills matrix, but using a lot of those things that you talked about, Rebecca, is essential for induction. Just and do not make it a one-off event. Yeah. Make it an, on, an ongoing thing. Yeah. The thing about if you invest the time now and get a really good induction program, you won't have to build all the content again. It's more about tweaking and to be spoken it to that director that's coming on. So if you invest the time to get a really good thorough induction plan in place, it's not just set and forget. It's like you actually have great content there that you can leverage and you put the lens of this director has these skills. They have these areas they may need to learn. How do we support that? That's a totally different conversation. What I see here is continuous, right? So mm -hmm. continuous planning, you start with planning, but you're finishing with planning. So you never actually finish planning. You're always planning. <laughs> and that's you obviously got the review cycle process in the middle there, but also the continuous development to have a high functioning board.